Hello everyone, I know I haven't posted forever, but I actually just looked at my account and it's been like 40 some odd days. I was like, holy crap, time flies. So, here's what's going on. We're in the middle of a severe drought and uh, basically my husband grows a lot of uh, seed for a seed company. He's got seed contracts for a bunch of different types of stuff. And this is actually behind me, this is tomatoes. For some reason, Foxtail grass seems to be able to grow in a drought. However, if it's been heavily fertilized with nitrogen, it can also cause nitrate poisoning if you feed it to livestock. This hasn't been heavily fertilized with nitrogen. So I'm risking it, feeding it to the goats because I'm out here uh, right now helping with the weeding this row and laying drip tape. Let me show you what that is. And some lovely tomatoes here and this is drip tape. And what we're doing with this is we're, as I'm going along and weeding it, you can see he laid it out on the row. It's just sitting up on the grass. And as I'm weeding, I'm just putting it towards the base. This is kind of like disposable soaker hose. It costs about a dollar a foot. So now that my husband's crops are in, I can't really just go and graze the goats because he's got crops here and there and everywhere because he's growing multiple types of like tomatoes, for example, and you can't put them very close together because you can't have them cross pollinate. He needs pure seed. So there's all over the property, there's, there's crops and the goats are not that controllable anymore. So what we're doing is we are taking the grass that we're pulling up the grass and weeds that has been lovely fertilized and we're putting it in this little wagon I've got behind it, the, the smallest tractor my husband has and I'm just hauling it up to the goats after I'm done weeding. And they're loving it and for the most part they look great however I think I need to start taking more of it in a day because a couple of the goats are getting a little skinny I think the others aren't letting them eat so I need like more piles of it out in the field I'll show you that yep that's what I'm talking about It's getting late. I'm late for milking. I normally do this while the sun is still up, but you can see I got the grass out for them. They're out there eating it. They're mostly piled up because they're like, I want food. So I'll do that and see you guys again in the morning. I'll show you why the field needs some help in this drought. Now the drought is so bad that it's kind of shriveling up the grass and the clover even, even though clover is drought resistant. This goat here is actually still eating on some of it. They, they eat it down. I mean, well, you get your nose out of the camera. They eat it down really far. And they munch on it and munch on it. And I just bring it in once a day. Sometimes they lay on it. They eat the majority of it. So that's how we're feeding the goats and surviving the drought and helping the field stay a bit taller for when it starts raining again because we don't really want them to eat it down to absolutely nothing because then over the winter they'll kill most of the grasses. See you next time.